Welcome to the Long Road. I'm Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? We are making a super quick grocery shopping trip, even though it's for a two-week haul. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, so we're doing one store and getting this done. All right, let's get to it. So we needed some Tostitos because we're going to have taco soup. So we got this. Um, so we're going to give the generic brand a chance. Yep, 224 224 that's 12.5 cents per ounce. ounce and i also got this um and i had a free after offer rebate and the reason why i got them is they're shelf stable for a year and like i said we have a little we keep a little bit of a stockpile in case of a hurricane so we're gonna have this and since it's free after offer it's not actually free after offer because it was eight dollars and 48 cents and you get back seven dollars and 84 cents so we're still paying less than a dollar for four and like i said this is for the stockpile for emergencies like hurricanes and also we got these two they're normal in our grocery haul videos since we're not going to aldi we went ahead and grabbed these at walmart because our son doesn't like the great value flavor of these so they were a dollar 78 each 224 and that was eight dollars and 48 cents but we'll be getting seven dollars and 84 cents back we get mozzarella seven dollars and 32 cents does look like they've gone up on the price a little bit it was in the six dollars last time we also need some cheddar i'm just gonna grab one of these okay so that's one dollar for our sour cream okay and some more butter 318 okay so joel apparently had to go with hazelnut again yep 324 324 and then we got some heavy whipping cream for one of our recipes, and that was $1.98. All right, what was the sausage? It's $3.98. All right, $1.50 for the cookies and cream Pop-Tarts, and there was just enough, plus there's one, like, one more in the bag. Yeah. But we're just going to grab the two. Onion powder, $0.98. Cents. All right, so when we shop at Walmart and we get marinara sauce, we usually get the Simply ragu simply and that's what price i can't see it from here dollar 78 okay dollar 78 okay so we needed some fake and bell vita and we also need some queso blanco right here. We don't, they don't have no faking no no faking no faking we have to go with the real name there okay so queso blanco and that's for a try something new recipe we're doing all right two cans of cheddar cheese soup is a dollar 72 Okay, we needed some uh, brown rice for our sausage and rice skillet recipe. $1.98 for the bag. We're spending 38 cents on one can of tomato sauce. And we've got one French bread for $1. $1. We're getting five bananas for 64 cents per pound. And so we're gonna look at some spinach here, $2.98, consistently what we're seeing. I'm just checking for a best date. Yeah, I'm looking at the date. Oh, 235. But what's the date on it? Today. No. Um yeah, April 10th looks like our best date on there. Okay, and we just need one lemon. 54 and cents. 54 cents? 62. 62. That says 54. No, that says 52. That says, that says 62. 62. Which one says lemon? This one. This one. So I guess. 62. I guess we're paying 62. I don't know. We'll see. A 10 cents won't break us. Okay, one red bell pepper for $1.42. Broccoli, we're probably going to get two heads and it's at $1.72 per pound. All right, so this is how to know if it's right. Smell it. It should smell like a pineapple. Um, also, no, that's not a joke. Also, you should be able to pull these little stems here up they should break off easy um if they if it's all green like this don't buy that because it's not going to become yellow i mean it may become yellow but it's never going to lose the bitterness because it's not right regardless of what the color does it's not right i think this one is probably okay um and so we may get that one because they're on sale for one dollar each this Woo week all right we're done yep and total was 67 dollars and 79 cents yep and that is for a two-week haul now we did yep. move some stuff over from last week so um 
Yeah. Yeah. But basically, we brought almost a half, maybe almost a week's worth of groceries over from last uh, two week meal plan. And so we didn't have to buy that many. Um, we do have plans to travel on the second week because of um, going to see my mother. If you saw the community post, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, we did still go ahead and buy all the staple idea because I had made the meal plan and then found out about my mother. Instead of taking all those meals out of the meal plan completely, I just took out the stuff that would would expire before we'd use them. So really, we're, we kind of bought stuff for even past the two weeks. Okay. So... So sort of a two week meal plan, sort of. All right, so let's get to our uh, meal plan, our actual meal plan. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Um, something that we have always done is uh, for our sons were, was when they were in college, when they finished a semester, we would take them out to dinner. Um, with the recent, you know, world situation, our son wasn't interested in going into restaurants for a long time. Um, he's finally comfortable going into restaurants again, so we finally are making up for that by taking him out to eat. So yep. we're doing that today. Yep. So. And then tomorrow will be sliders, hamburger sliders. Yep. And then on Tuesday, we have a penne pasta with veggies and sausage, I think is what that is. Yep. And then after that will be chicken and rice. And then we're going to make a taco soup. And then we have leftovers from the taco soup. Yep. And uh, then homemade pizza. And then we're going to do a spatchcock chicken on Sunday. And go ahead. Um, it's kind of a smaller one than we normally buy. So we're not sure if we'll have yeah. how much chicken we will have left from it. Uh, if we have enough, we're going to make chicken and wild rice soup. If not, then we're going to go ahead to the next recipe that is going to be I try something new and it's called taco rice with queso. All right. And then um, we got some leftovers, some cheesy chicken chili that we made a few weeks ago. Yep. So we're going to have that. We'll pull that out and have it. That's right. We had put the leftovers in the freezer because it didn't look like we were going to finish it. You know, so we put it in the freezer. We just could pull it out, thaw it out and go yep. on. Um, and then we're going to have cheeseburger soup. And then we usually have leftovers from that that we'll eat. Um, just a reminder, if you see the recipe alert, uh, you know that's already in our recipe play playlist. Mm -hmm. If you don't see that, then you can vote on that for, for an upcoming recipe of the week video. That's right. And again, uh, if we, you know, if everything works out, we'll be leaving on that Friday uh, to go see my mom in Mississippi. Yep. So I don't really have any of the rest of the meals written out. I just bumped them down into a overflow category. So, yep. uh, but, so we did buy some uh, staples that would be for those recipes, but I didn't actually, we didn't actually say them. Yep. So uh, you'll hear about them in the next meal plan, I'm sure. Um, right. Also, we will be doing in the month of April, we're going to be doing a challenge that's called plan ahead april where we talk about uh talk about tips and short videos on tuesdays and thursdays you'll see tips for making your meal plans uh so that you're better prepared when you go to the grocery store but just as a reminder we do flexible meal plans which means we can bump things around and switch them up um, we don't necessarily have them on any of the days that we just said, like he said, Sunday spatch cook. We don't necessarily, it, it may not happen that way. Yeah. So, um, what we're going to do on Wednesdays for the month of April is we're going to suspend recipe of the week videos. You can still vote on any that you want to see because we'll pick it back up in May. But, um, in April, what we're going to do instead is going to be basically like a what's for dinner videos where we show you what we're actually eating and you'll see how we keep switching things around. And so you'll see what did we actually eat and when. Yeah. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss those. And if you want to share any of your meal planning tips, be sure to hashtag plan ahead April so that everybody will see it all right there you go so drop us a comment below and uh let us know how your grocery hauls are going mm -hmm. 
Uh, maybe some meals you've got that you'd like, like us to try as well. We'd love to do that. Mm -hmm. We'll hear from you. Uh, but don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekend. Sometimes you never know we're going to drop one in there. But with that said, that's going to do it today for The Long Road with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And don't forget the long run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.